The U.S. Air Force's family of AC-130 gunships has a long history of delivering critical close air support for ground troops in need. During Vietnam, AC-130 gunships destroyed more than 10,000 trucks and were credited with many life-saving close air support missions. But the gunship is expected to be even more deadly with the addition of a new armament, a laser weapon. Lockheed Martin has stated that it's completed factory acceptance testing for the AHEL, or Airborne High Energy Laser, and then handed the weapon over to the U.S. Air Force. As per reports, the new weapon will be tested after integration with the AC-130J Ghost Rider, the service's latest variant of the AC-130 gunship. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how AC-130J Ghost Rider is set to become more potent with airborne high-energy laser. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The AC-130 is a heavily armed aircraft carrying an array of anti-ground oriented weapons that are integrated with sophisticated sensors, navigation, and fire control systems. It is capable of delivering precision firepower or area saturation fire over a target area for a long period of time, at night, or in adverse weather. The sole operator is the United States Air Force. The robust airframe makes the aircraft capable of using unprepared runways for takeoffs and landings. The AC-130 primary missions are close air support, air interdiction, and armed reconnaissance. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 300 miles per hour or 480 kilometers per hour, a range of 2,500 miles or 4,100 kilometers, and a service ceiling of 39,000 feet or 12,000 meters. The advanced sensors allow the gunship to visually or electronically identify friendly ground forces and targets in most weather conditions. The gunship is equipped with 30mm and 105mm cannons and can support a range of guided munitions like AGM-176 Griffin missile or GBU-39 small diameter bomb. Over the years, the gunship has been upgraded many times and has become more powerful and efficient. Rick Cordaro, Vice President, Lockheed Martin Advanced Product Solutions, said, Completion of this milestone is a tremendous accomplishment for our customer. These mission success milestones are a testament of our partnership with the U.S. Air Force in rapidly achieving important advances in laser weapon system development. Our technology is ready for fielding today. Viewers may note that under a January 2019 contract, Lockheed Martin has been working to integrate, test, and demonstrate the new directed energy weapon on the AC-130J, according to the company press release. It was noted that it's now on a rapid schedule to continue testing this capability. According to Lt. Gen. Marshal Brad Webb, the former commander of Air Force Special Operations Command, when he described the system in 2017, the Airborne High Energy Laser, or AHAL, is a non-lethal weapon intended for disabling enemy vehicles, communications, power generation, and other equipment. As per reports, it will be in the 60 kilowatt class. Webb said, as per his vision, according to National Defense, without the slightest bang, whoosh, thump, explosion, or even aircraft engine hum, four key targets are permanently disabled. The enemy has no communication, no escape vehicle, 
No electrical power and no retaliatory intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capability. Minutes later, the team emerges from the compound, terrorist mastermind in hand, a successful raid. Currently, it's not known if the laser can be used against humans. According to Sandbox, the AHEL will let the normally loud and obtrusive AC-130J start fires and even detonate enemy ammo dumps from miles away without anyone knowing for sure what caused it. Sandbox stated, In other words, this weapon can cause problems for the enemy and even destroy targets without directly implicating U.S. forces. That can be extremely valuable in the gray zone military operations of the modern era. Lasers are silent and invisible, which makes them very much suitable for use in certain scenarios. As evident, lasers have the advantage of being obscure, but there are other pluses too. The speed of light enables them to hit their targets almost instantaneously. Laser weapons also don't need to carry ammunition like traditional systems, and hence they'll be able to take out a much larger number of threats, constrained only by the power supply limit of the platform. This is pretty significant, as traditional weapons can run out of ammunition when encountering a large number of threats and need to be reloaded amidst a raging battle. The cost is also expected to be much lesser compared to traditional weapons. In 2010, the U.S. Air Force mounted and fired off a megawatt-class chemical laser from a modified Boeing 747. Things have changed since then and instead of unstable chemical lasers used for that experiment, solid-state lasers are now being utilized. Another test with LAWS, or ANSEQ-3, laser weapon system was conducted in 2014. The efforts are giving back now. According to reports, the trial will start in the fiscal year 2022. Soldiers on the ground have come to love the AC-130 gunships. The important part is that the U.S. military seems to be at the forefront of this technology and is having a lead. AC-130J Ghost Rider is a potent platform, and with the inclusion of laser, it will have a new way to inflict pain to the enemies. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.